Good morning, afternoon or evening, my dear viewers. Uh, today we are going to try a crosswind takeoff and a crosswind landing in the 737 Classic aircraft. Uh, we have a 35 knot crosswind on the runway 05 left at Manchester. And uh, this is the limit for a crosswind for the 737 when the braking action is good. When the braking action is worse than good, of course the crosswind limitation is less. So the airplane is ready for departure, everything has been set. This is, other than the crosswind, this is a very normal takeoff. Uh, we will use flaps 5, normal trim, but during the takeoff roll, I will constantly be holding the control column uh, into the wind so as to counteract the wind effects which uh, are just trying to push us off the runway or lift the wing. Uh, but otherwise it will be a very normal takeoff with flaps 5, normal trim and normal takeoff power. And I will keep the aircraft on the center line. So if you are ready, I am ready. So parking brake is released. I'll set the power at 40, timing, and engine stable, takeoff. Now I will turn the yoke into the wind, we'll hold the aircraft on the center line. We are 80 knots, power set, 100 knots, and V1 rotate. I'll lift the nose up with the yoke turned into the wind. And right after the departure, I'm maintaining the wings level. I release the pressure on the rudder and we are flying. Positive rate gear up. And the only extraordinary thing now is that the wind is pushing us approximately 15 degrees to the left. We are on a heading of 063, however, however our real track is 054. This is all about the crosswind takeoffs. Now we can switch to the landing. Now the landing will be a little bit trickier. Because the wind is blowing from the right side, it's producing us a drift angle of 16 degrees. That means that our aircraft is pointing at heading 070 and the whole airplane is flying on a heading of 054, which is the runway heading at Manchester. So right before touchdown at maybe 10 or 20 feet, I will need to apply some left rudder so as to extinguish all the drift of 16 degrees. And right after the touchdown, during the landing roll, it will be the same as takeoff roll. I will be pointing the yoke into the wind and uh, try to hold the airplane steady on the center line. I'll of course apply some reverse and we will stop the aircraft. So, if you're ready again, I am ready. Okay, we are a little bit below than 500 p feet above the ground with autopilot and auto throttle engage. I will disengage them both at around our decision height of 200 feet. And one thing to notice, I'll try to keep the airplane a little bit to the right of the center line in the initial uh, stage of the landing flare, just so that if the wind is trying to push us to the left, we still have some space on the runway. Okay, approaching decision height. Minimum, minimum. 200 feet, we are landing. Autopilot, auto throttle, disengage. 100. Now. 30. Left rudder. And it's a firm but safe touchdown. I'm keeping the yoke to the right and see speed break out, reversers unlocked and we are decelerating. The auto brakes are working. So we have 80 knots and release to idle reverse. 60 knots. No need to turn anymore, we are slow enough. And now we are below 45. 10 knots ground speed, 5, and we have stopped. So I'll set the parking brake. And here we have it. Thank you very much for joining me for this short adventure and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.